Okay, everybody, it's time to talk about how to use the metric system for the purpose of uh, measuring and calculating using the SI system, which involves the metric system, though they're not 100% the same. Um, the SI system is based on the measurement system called the metric system, which is itself is a more logical way to measure the world. It's used in every country except these three. And what it is, is it uses physical constants, such as the freezing point of water, the size of the earth, etc., to come up with units that are universal and equally applicable no matter where in the universe they're used. Um, so the, these are the SI base units. These are the units that people in the class need to be familiar with. So people should know the name of the unit, what the unit measures, as well as the standard abbreviation of the unit. So this is something, and especially pay attention to like capital versus not a capital letter, because it actually does make a difference whether you capitalize something or not. For example, capital M means refers to a quantity called molarity, which is completely unrelated to meters. So make sure you pay attention for these things, not only to what the abbreviation is, to, but to also to whether it's capitalized, like this uppercase A, or not, like this lowercase s. So, Aside from that, and by the way, make sure you're also familiar with the freezing and boiling point of water, because that's how degrees Celsius works. Um, we also have to look, aside from that list, you might have noticed that a very common metric unit is not present, because it's not technically an SI unit, it's what's called a derived unit. So for volume, in addition to those things on that other list, you need to be familiar that volume is measured in units of liter. This is the base unit. Milliliter is a version of liter that's frequently used, but it's all a version of liter. So be aware that liter is a unit that measures volume, and this is going to be our standard measurement. Now, it tells you what it's derived from. It's, um, I believe, there you go, yeah, one decimeter on each side. And so it tells you that it's a thousand cubic centimeters, and since a milliliter is a cubic centimeter, a liter is a thousand milliliters. All right, so be familiar with those, of course. Now, people in this unit need to be familiar not only with those base units, and when, again, when I say base unit, I'm talking about liter and meter, technically gram, but they use kilogram for the reference one, uh, second, ampere, kelvin, mole, and candela. Those are all base units. And when you put a prefix on it, such as Kilo, hecto, hec, deca, etc. Any of these, it tells you how many of them it is. Like a kilo is a thousand, so a kilogram is a thousand of something. Hectogram is a hundred of something. Decagram is a ten of something. This is one tenth of something. One one hundredth of something. One one thousandth. One one millionth. One one billionth of something. You have a reference chart that tells you, so be familiar with it. Notice these all have their own abbreviations. So that's why. Kilogram will combine the abbreviation for kilo with the abbreviation for gram to give like this. And you're going to find that this is the case for all manner of other things. Like, for example, candela is this abbreviation. Hecto is this, so that's a hectocandela. Right? So this is how the units are the abbreviations for the prefix and the units go together. Notice the prefix abbreviation goes first followed by the unit abbreviation. So this is something, again, that all students need to be familiar with. 